Why am I Why am echoing? I echoing? Why are you echoing? There, is that stop it? Talk? Hello? It did stop it. Yeah. Um, <coughs> okay, guess. let's get back to the... So, fo- this... Which one is Adam? Check, check. He is, I don't know, three? There you go. That fixes that it. That should fix it. Yeah. So, folks, this is kind of the companion piece to the premium we ju- literally recorded seconds yeah, ago. We're going to try and yeah, start rolling immediately, like not even, you just stop, stop, start, <laughs> stop, <laughs> yeah, start. Yeah. So, we're so g- you're a Papa John's, you take a pizza home every night. Oh, yeah, yeah because we're having a conversation <laughs> about, Adam said that And you're going to want to go to the Patreon, patreon.com, come down to get at part one. We should start doing this. Yeah, yeah. We do release part two for free. Yeah, part, part two one. Free. Part one. If you want to see how we got here. <laughs> how we got here. <laughs> because I tell you, literally 30 seconds ago, we were talking about the Uvalde shooting. <laughs> yeah. And now we've landed on, is it normal to eat an entire large pizza? Which I think it is. And by the way, it was a medium pizza, which has been covered. I, dude, I've never gotten, that's, first of all, they should call that shit a diet pizza. That's a diet pizza. <laughs> 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 it's not a medium pizza. No, it was so small. That's uh, I'm on my my Weight Watchers stuff. Yeah, I really because Papa John's fucks you in a way that uh, like a. Uh, I don't want to step on his bit, but Ramin Nazer used to have a bit about about how they call it a personal pizza. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. like I, I, the the joke was like, yeah, going to Pizza Hut or whatever. He's like, can I get a personal pizza? And then they're like, what do you want on it? He's like, it's personal. <laughs> but it, I always thought after that, That's bit, good. I always thought it was such a funny name for. Ramin oh, yeah. Nazer, check him out. I don't even know if he does comedy Check anymore. him out. Aparna had a joke that said any pizza can be a personal pizza if you're sad enough. Which, you know, is true. Yeah, but you know what? Fuck Aparna. No. no, no. <laughs> no she's no nice. Problem. I have no problem with Aparna. <laughs> Another DC. Look, honestly, we, yeah. were, we were part of a hilariously... A lot of people from that, mm. from DC, are, doing, you know are making a living. I remember, because, yeah, I mean, I guess I like started with Aparna to a certain extent, but when I met her... She got stung in the eye by a bee. Oh no! That week, so her and her fucking eye, like mine looked the other. Yeah, day. yeah, yeah. It just swelled up real bad, and you know I've known Aparna for fucking twenty years. Yeah. Whenever I think of her, my mental image will always, that like fucked up eye thing that happened to her. Yeah, the first time I I saw I didn't even meet her. I was like an open micer trying to get into comedy, and I went to good old Kurt Shackelford's Topaz. Yeah. And it was like her Hampton Seaton. Fucking uh, Nick Turner. Yeah. Jason Signs. Um, How's he doing? Is he better yet? I think so. Yeah. Did he get his legs back? I don't know. Mm. But he looks better. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? But yeah, anyway, whatever. The point is, back to the Papa Enough reminiscence. And no, let's go back to the Papa John's point. Papa John's, so Adam, you, you, were, you were out of the you were I in was the bathroom. Shitting, and Adam by the way, folks, I was shitting in Adam's bathroom. Adam decided to take shots at you and say that... Uh, Ridic- just cause, and by the way, you know why? Because he's not following the golden rule. Yeah, he shits in your fucking apartment all the time. I have to because of an emergency. Yeah, he's mad. I'm shitting. And by the way, that's not going to be the first shit of the day. Yeah, we are. He is going to get a couple shits in his bathroom. Mm-hmm. Oh, you 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 wonder? Look, you know me. You know I'm conniving, <laughs> manipulative. <laughs> yeah, I'm of always. Course. There's always a plan. Of course, always dude. a plan with me. Yeah. And uh, but in the end, Geyser sucks. I, I have I have everyone's best interest in mind. <laughs> yeah, you're I the, see you're evil. the benevolent. <laughs> I see <laughs> evil. You're the philosopher king. But at the end of the day, <laughs> there's a plan to make sure it works out for everybody. Everybody gets their piece of the pie. Right. And I'll tell you this: it's fucking Adam wants to do the show at his house now. Yep. You know me. Normally, there'd be pushback. To say of that's, course. It's absurd. We do it at my house. Yeah. You got to bring the equipment over. You didn't hear a word from me. Not word one. Not word one. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. You notice that uh, us doing it here happens to coincide exactly with me finishing around the antibiotics. Mm. It is a war zone in my gut right now. Oh, yeah. And it will be for months. Yeah. <laughs> until this yogurt works out. And if you think he takes bad shots, I might even, I might even, he's not even in the room now. He's not. I might literally fucking find the most expensive chair in here and just, just, shit. Sh- just oh, shit myself. That's true. You owe him one. Yes. You do owe him a shitted chair. Just all with the bad bacteria coming out of me. <laughs> None of the good. The good ones are all they're in the good bacteria ones have been heaven. Yeah, yeah. They've been sacrificed so that you're so you wouldn't go blind. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now you got nothing but blah, 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 that yeah. kind of bacteria. Exactly. That's um, what. Anyway, so you were in the bathroom. So I was in the bathroom, and you know what I will say? He's got a nice setup. Yeah. Nice bathroom, nicely decorated, a lot of stuff, a mm-hmm. lot of good. I gotta say this. Adam knows how you, to live. You gotta upgrade your toilet paper, Nick. 
I don't shit at your place much, but Adam has you beat toilet paper wise. Yeah, you got the one ply. You're living too good to have the cheap toilet paper. He, I will say pillowy toilet paper. I've always been a one ply guy, but you know my but entire bathroom is disgusting. There's beard hair everywhere. I know, but cat piss <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Take a little note. Try and get a little of the good life. You deserve it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm shit, and I would have liked the wet wipe. Doesn't Adam feel like the guy who would have wet wipes? Yeah, you know, I have to, I've been using them on my eye. I got special eye wipes, and mm. it feels like changing a baby's yeah. diaper. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wipe my fucking eyelids now. Your eye is like a little girl's, a little baby's pussy. Uh, you know, I think <laughs> you I said that. Get it in. I don't know if I said that on the show, but it's weird because it's like, you know, like you get you get old. You get into your 30s, and everything just fucking falls apart. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like, you know, when you're younger, you're like, yeah, you know, you can't keep, like, there's certain, you know, like, I obviously think, like, hangovers get worse. Of course. You can't keep, like, partying the way you used to. And it's, like, sh- short. Like, that's out. But then there's all this other stuff. Like, you gotta fucking wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Ugh. Or you'll go blind. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What? I can't eat an My entire... My lo- used to, sh- to shake off I can't shit eat- particles. Like, I, it was nothing. Literally, dude. I used to get, like, fucking eye infections all the time. I feel like it would just, you know, my eye would hurt for a couple of days and it would go away. Yeah. You know, and then it's like, it's crazy because in frontier times, it's like, I would have just died. Yeah, you'd be so dead. I would have been dead from an With eye. a dumb, big ass eye. Yeah. In your casket. Yeah. You'd look so stupid. Like the bat, the, 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 the guy from, what's, wasn't there a video game with a little skeleton guy and he's got like a big eye? I don't remember. It was like Sorry. a PlayStation game. It's not, if, if one of us is going to come up with that, it's going to be you. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I will say that shit did rock it out of my ass. Um, but you know, it was an it was an overall good shitting experience. Yeah. And I will say, one Papa John's pizza is not too much. Adam's out of his mind. He's out of his mind. Yeah, I was saying. Well, he he was just trying to take shots at you while you were gone. Well, we'll wait. We'll wait until he gets here to really. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what this. it is. He's got the confidence of coming off running two episodes himself. He's like, I don't need these guys. Yeah. I don't need these guys. You fucking. Who turned me into the poo-poo man. What do you think the, about just letting podcast? Adam do the podcast? I pitched that idea to him, and he's like, I don't think Stav would like that. I'd love it. Yeah. I'd love if... In fact, if you guys just want to do the podcast starting, you know, in a week, you let me know. Dude, I told him. I was like, because he's, you know, he's like worried about what's going to happen. I already said it. It's like, I'm I'm b- built to fail, baby. Yeah. You know? There's, there you love it. There's, I don't love it. I may hate it, but it's <laughs> you, just, you you got you can't den- you can't deny your nature. <laughs> yes, you can. I'm like a little like I'm kind of some kind of like weird little bioluminescent cretin mm. at the bottom of the ocean. I don't You've know. Been... I, don't, I don't even know what daylight looks like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've just yeah. got my little light, and I can't help but <laughs> but shine it and see yeah. the, see the Going dark path the in darkness. front of me, and know that it'll never be any different. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, he's like worried about what he's gonna do. I was like, dude, we'll just we'll I literally will change the Patreon. Patreon dot com slash come by the way. Slash come Also Raleigh, June ninth through eleventh. Please buy tickets. Portland the week after that. Weekend after that. Both uh, uh, helium. Good nights, Raleigh. Great Healing clubs, Portland. great clubs. I Go see there. it, folks. Let's buy tickets. Also, Go see the show. Carolines. I got to start pushing Carolines too. That's the weekend after that. Okay. And I have no idea how those tickets are. They're so they're so good. Yeah. It's fucking New York City, babe. I, now I just want to get this shit over with. It's been so stressful trying to sell these tickets. <coughs> I just want the fucking the tour yeah. to be done with. I can't wait for the tour to be over. My t- my fucking nine month long tour concludes in uh, Philadelphia and Rhode Island. But more importantly than that, this Sunday, June fifth. 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific, uh, my first special, live at the Lodge Room, full hour special. I think it actually clocks in at about 54 minutes. Um, but it's going to be, it's fucking, it's out. I've worked very hard. I'm out. I'm out a nice amount of money. Please watch it. I want, and uh, for those of you who have seen my, it's on my YouTube channel. I post every day there. I post some fucking crowd work clips. This is all material for the most part. There's maybe 10 minutes of crowd work in there, but for those of you who've been wanting to see actual thought-out jokes, it will be actual there. Actual thought-out jokes. Actual, <laughs> actual, <laughs> actual thought-out jokes that I that I done that I done planned. Just out. crushing with crowd work and being like, anyways, where was I? Where was I? Oh right. How come they got two windows at the drive-through? <laughs> yep. Why? Why, why, why don't you think about? Through? Yeah. You fucking on, I'm asshole. Confused. 
I'm thinking I'm about to get my food at the first window. And now what? This one's for the fucking money, and they got another one for what? <laughs> fucking sucking dick. What are y'all dick? selling crack in there? You got to fucking the money can't. It's same too, guy can't exchange the money. It's too complicated now. This it's and that just continues for 50 minutes. <laughs> and then I'm like, <laughs> so anyway, anybody here ever uh, see their fucking grandfather's penis? McFlurry. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's like. They make it sound like a fucking snowstorm. <laughs> but it's fucking ice cream. It's ice cream with a little M&Ms in them. Yeah, that, why, if, it was supposed to, if it's supposed to be called that, why don't they fucking have a snowman on the fucking oh outside of it? Oh, my God. It's so fucking true. <laughs> uh, anyway, there might... In thought fact, it out jokes. June 5th. <laughs> thought it out jokes coming out. There is actually a chunk of about Baltimore. You might hear that voice. On my debut special live at the Lodge Room. Go mm-hmm. fucking watch that we Just shit. stop recording. You're furious at me. You're like, how dare you burn that material? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's the McFlurry how is my dare, closer. How dare you burn the McFlurry? No, they're just going to hear like two abrupt cuts. Yeah. And it's like you going into that. And then it's like, mm. so yeah, Adam, why did you say pizza? I ate too much pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Adam just responds as Ian Finance. Yeah, Ian's here. Adam's done. <laughs> But yeah, no, I was telling him he's worried about, you know, in the future. I was like, dude, well, look, fucking December 31st, 2022, we changed the name of the, the show to the Adam Friedland Show. Mm-hmm. And fucking that's what you get from now that on. That sounds awesome. It's just I'll change the branding. <laughs> and it's Adam and, it's, you know, he can keep it, keep all the fucking money to himself. That's whatever awesome. he wants to do. You really don't want any of the money, huh? Well, if I'm not I'm doing gonna any. My, I'm going to need my piece. Uh, if I'm not doing any of the work, no. You know me. I'm, I'm, that's, that's, that's my mentality. Yeah, that's You dumb, don't do bro. the work, you don't get paid. I don't believe in, <laughs> I don't believe in You fucking, built the show. Anyway, whatever. Adam's not going to take the Adam doing, Friedland show. I'm not, if I'm not doing it, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing it. Well, that's very magnanimous of you. It's Adam not magnanimous. Will be, that's Adam, the way the world should work. No. I'm, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm taking the hit because everybody else should. Adam will have to pay, kick up to me. Yeah, as part owner of the Adam Friedland show, mm-hmm. as executive producer, I will be needing my cut. What's your cut? I don't know. Where do you start in the negotiations? Uh, keep it. Keep mine. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent. What do you think we'll come back with? <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have to meet in the middle. <laughs> yeah. The fucking Adam Friedland show. That would be awesome. Um. Damn, he said he needed five. He's been gone for fucking quite some time. Yeah, he's been gone for 12 minutes. That's all right, though. You know, 30. we got, what do we got? Three more minutes until the ad. Um, yeah, no, dude, that's did, fine. Anyways. Do you think, does your nut ever hurt, and do you worry yeah, you no, have no, cancer? It, ha- no, it happens all the time. I okay. would not worry about that. Unless it gets, like, hard and starts growing, mm. then you got nothing to worry about. Okay, good. Even if you find, like, sometimes you can get, like, a cyst or something, mm-hmm. and but, like, you, you know, it's, it's yeah. really... but. You should also, I mean, you have insurance, like, go to the doctor. Yeah, I'm going to go to the doctor to get fixed up. Has it been hurting for a while? No, just oh. every once in a while I get a nut pain. Yeah, you know, honestly, it's probably just sitting the wrong way. Yeah, you know? having two heavy nuts. Yeah. Two heavy nuts threatening to rip out of my test to my ball sack at any moment. Yeah. When I switched over, we had a, I'm not going to say because they didn't ring up, but we had a clothing sponsor. <laughs> right, right, right. I have been wearing nothing but their clothes since they... Senate, but they don't really offer very much support. Mm. And I had to get used to uh, letting my the fucking nuts hang. nuts hang again. And oh, that's interesting. My right shit. now, I am wearing more hangy boxers, and perhaps yeah. that's the problem. It does. Yeah, because it's like they're, they're being tugged on, basically, and the, the, wi- the wires got weak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need to firm up my fucking nut wire. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it out jokes. <laughs> June fifth, YouTube. YouTube baby dot com slash Stavi baby slash Stavi baby. Go do that shit. Go see us live, um, and then buy Adam's little T-shirts with his little paintings on them. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever get the store back up. I'm working Why with not? a print shop because they offered me like a shit deal, kind of. I'm sure you could find it. The deal itself was not bad. It's just that I was like, they wanted me to be locked into a contract for two years, and it's like uh, I, I got I got a room. Yeah, well, I need the uh, ability to uh, get up and leave. That's what I ran into with the last print shop. It's like you can't like uh, prom- promises me nothing. Never, you know? never. Uh, what's the fucking thing that you can't drop everything when you feel the heat around the corner? Heat. Yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> that's where you got. Mm-hmm. That's that's how you got to treat the print shop. Yeah. By the way, speaking of heat, I saw Den of Thieves. You ever see that? No. Oh. <gasps> I'm fucking scandalized. You have to see it's it. Good. It's incredible. Maybe I'll. Gerard it. Butler. 
is in, insanely good in this movie. Dude, he has that guy rules. He's he a guy. Fucking he's rocks. a guy that was a shitty actor. Yep. got hot one time. One time, and mostly it was, for mo- three hundred. Mostly it was computers. That yeah. They, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you yeah, imagine yeah. being the fucking like computer nerd dork that has to make those guys has look even make, hotter yeah, and get has more to make pussy? The abs big and his dick bigger. Yeah, and you're just like. You just clock out at your fucking CGI <laughs> yeah. job and drive back to your fucking. You're like, I'm gonna work for Pixar studio I'm apartment. Make, yeah, I'm gonna make stories that yeah, <laughs> that, make, been, that inspire children. You've been putting you've been putting fucking abs on some drunk, bloated <laughs> millionaire actor to yeah. make him look good. You've all been that. removing his ball hairs; they keep slipping out of yeah, his speedo. Yeah. And then you go back to Studio City <laughs> and your fucking Toyota Tercel <laughs> and order another entire large pizza for yourself. Eldis recently purchased a used Toyota Tercel. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's the car, dude. What kind? I don't know. Hmm. I don't what know. What year? I have no idea. Hmm. It's cute, though, and it's funny because it's such a little car and he's the biggest motherfucker of all yeah. time. He's just in his car It's the boy over. that laughs at everybody. Um, it's yeah. the boy who fucks But yeah Gerard Butler fucking rules yeah. And you know what This has inspired me To go into more of his filmography Yeah I think I'm gonna check out The uh, Olympus Has Fallen You gotta get into The romantic com- the comedy stuff too like, You gotta watch <laughs> P.S. I Love You Is he in that? Yeah Awesome Um what else? Um, Law Abiding Citizen might be the first one I check out. That yeah. looks fucking sick. He's in that movie Gamer. Remember the, like the predecessor yes. to Ready Player One? Yes, yes, yes. Ready Penis Suck. Or so, ready Penis Suck. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> but that's a really good one. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. He he goes off. He's sick. Adam. Uh, dude, you'll love it, dude. I, if I, you I, love Gerard Butler, yeah. this is honestly the the. Best Gerard Butler performance. I'll check he's it out. drunkish. He's clearly like fucked up. Mm-hmm. He like because he plays a he plays obviously like a rogue, dirty yeah. cop type guy. Yeah, who's drunk? Who's like hard living? And like he clearly is getting fucked Dude, up. Dude, everything every everything about him is just post production. Yeah, he's this slovenly drunk fucking yeah. Scottish moron <laughs> yeah, 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 who's yeah. not good at acting. Dude, he is so and aw- he's bad in like the perfect way. Uh, yeah, I mean, and then he just gets like literally with three hundreds, like literally just through all these filters or whatever. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that, yeah, because Zack Snyder is a closeted homosexual. He looks yeah, awesome. They just fucking yeah, like everything is just processed. Actually, him. you know what? I'll take that back. Zack Snyder is not a closeted homosexual. Yeah. Zack is like Evan. Yeah, where it's like. Just those muscle guys that love other guys' bodies in a truly heterosexual way. Yeah, I'm like that. Yeah, you yeah, you and Evan probably were text each other guys with their shirts off. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so shout out to fucking Gerard Butler. Shout out to fucking Den of Thieves. Truly a fucking masterpiece. Yeah, anyways, you, you were in the bathroom. Adam's taking shots, saying large pizza is disgusting. And all I was saying is that when I worked at Papa John's, Every day, I make I make myself a large pizza. I take a couple extra garlic cups. Definitely take way too many of the pepperoncinis. Yes. Take that home. Hit the beer store. Get Respect. a forty. Drink an entire large pizza. What was your forty of choice? Um, well, when I was a teenager, I drank a lot of Saint Ides, and I think mm-hmm. when I was older, I switched over to something a little more mild, like called forty five or old English. Yeah. Yeah. Were you ever a Mickey's guy? I've drank Mickey's, but no, I was never the only kind of forty guy I was. I did. I liked Saint Ides because they had okay. the most alcohol. Right, you know, right. When right. I would, because I, I, to be honest, did most of my forty drinking as a teenager. Of course, as an adult, you kind of, you know, yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You get a pair of tall boys instead. Of course, like a gentleman. Yeah, yeah like yeah. a fucking. Um, yeah, I was a Cobra guy for yeah. a while. That was my just because it looked sick. Steel Reserve. Right, that's, uh, Steel Reserve is the one that would. Yeah. That was a little much for me. So my most fucked up vomiting at parties happened because of Steel Reserve. Yeah, because I think that was actually the. The most alcoholic one, wasn't it? Well, I, I, I was under the impression that St. Ides was because it was disgusting. St. Ides tastes like cat piss. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> nah, dude, I fucking. Um, that's nice, though. What kind of. What was your toppings of choice? Um, well, I would make myself like a. Like a barbecue chicken pizza mm. with pineapple. Mm. That was usually my favorite. A little sweet. Yeah. Mr. Sweet. Something to balance out the St. Ides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Adam doesn't really know about trap. I mean, he he. I'm curious to know what was the tr- what the treat meal was at the Friedland household. Yeah, you know. I mean, he talks about McDonald's. And by the way, I have the bag here. Yeah, 
to check what time he ordered it. Oh, perfect. 8.51 a.m. This is so funny that he's like, I need five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this episode's almost halfway over already. He got a sausage, egg, and biscuit, a chocolate shake mm. for breakfast. 8.51, probably got here by 9. Would have no. been nice to have been asked. I forgot I, I had to look up the reads. Oh, yeah, what do we got today? Um, I don't know. Let's see, Drive. Google Drive. Come town. No, that's wrong. Okay. Right. <coughs> Fuck. Damn, I gotta. Oh, I also have heartbreaking news. What happened? The uh, Pizza Hut in Dundalk is closed. Oh no! But there's a Pizza Hut now in Bed Stuy. But you is it a sit down, or is it a window operation? Um, I don't know. It's on. It's on. I uh, was just like, what's the read? I don't know. I guess we'll do a free advertisement <laughs> for the Pizza Hut. <laughs> The free advertisement for the pizza. Home. I was on Are You Garbage recently. I love those guys, and we were taught we got heated about Domino's v Pizza Hut. Well, and they're different. Uh, they're different things. That's absurd because they're you. different. I know it's not in the same category. I know, and my argument was the high the highs of Pizza Hut will never be matched by Domino's. Mm-hmm. It's like this. So Subway Blimpy, same genre. People try to do like Subway versus Quiznos, and it's like they're different types of restaurants. Mm-hmm. They seem similar, but they're completely different. Yeah. You know, Subway, Blimpy, fuck, I'm trying to think of other sandwich There's places. There's really not that many There's sandwich places. Like Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is sort of there. One. But yeah. Quiznos is in, like, their whole thing. It's not like, you don't go to Quiznos and you're like, let me get subs. this, let me get that. Like, you fucking, they, like, these are the sandwiches. Right. <laughs> Quiznos don't fuck around. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, and pa- P- Pizza Hut, same thing. It's a sit-down restaurant. Pa- pa- Papa John's, Domino's, Gaddy's, God the fuck is Gaddy's? Gaddy's is, was another chain. They're all built on the same model of like... I will say Pizza Hut, I believe, made a pivot towards being more of a fast food place. But at the same time, I just think their crusts are a next level situation. Yeah. Although apparently they switched to Frozen. So, I'm look, I'm interested to check out what they got going. My bookie. My bookie. Folks, my bookie. If you want to bet on the NBA Finals... Which, by the way, that's the only way to watch these finals because it's Celtics versus Warriors, two of the fucking just truly... I mean, how do you root for either one of those fucking teams? The the fucking Celtics, asterisk after asterisk. The Nets suck dick. The Nets they suck have dick. No, they had no one. Kyrie, Kyrie and KD played like shit. Giannis was by... Look, Middleton's in that series. Kyrie, more like Kai get a refund. Kai get a refund on that contract, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, middle the Middleton was out with Middleton. The Bucks beat the fucking bitch ass Celtics every fucking day of the week, and then they f- they face a Miami Heat team. Tyler Hero is out. Kyle Lowry is a shell of himself. They're starting fucking. They're yeah. starting fucking Max Kyle, more Struess. Like Kyle allow me to get my oh, money back. Thank you so much. Um, Jimmy Butler his dick is so hard he takes it to seven. Even and he's and they're Jimmy Butler three away from potentially losing in the last second. People sucking these Celtics off. They're fucking lucky cocksuckers. Same thing with the Warriors. They've faced the Nuggets that have been missing their two best fucking players all fucking season. And you can bet on this in my book. And you can bet on all this, by the way. This is all on my bookie. My bookie. Your premier sports betting sexual website. It's you get your dick hard. And the Warriors. Then John Morant gets hurt. Okay. The Suns fall apart. That was the one hard team they were going to have to face. Chris Paul fucking melts down. Devin Booker shows himself to be a bit of a fraud here. He's going to have to prove himself in, in playoffs of the future. They lose to Dallas, a Dallas team that's ahead of schedule that, unless Luka's playing heroically, is not going to fucking beat the Warriors. The, the Warriors get a lucky fucking path to the finals. The Celtics got a lucky path to the finals. We got two fraud. They should call this the NBA fraudinals. Not the finals. The fraudnals. The fraudnals. Yeah. And either, but, and they're, San Francisco can suck my dick. Boston is a dog shit city. At myboogie.ag. At myboogie.ag. You can affirm all of these beliefs by betting on these games. And so to watch these games, you're going to have to bet. You're going to have to bet at myboogie.ag. Because there's no, you, there's no rooting in Million dollar prop bets. We they got, got million dollar props. They got prop bets. They got the super spread. They Does got, Jason Tatum, you can bet, did Jason Tatum shave his penis or not? You can bet on all that at mybookie.ag, the premier only still legal and in business sports betting website that is still advertising on New York podcasts. Right. 
and we, that uh, the only ones left not getting all their money from Peter Thiel. <laughs> that, that's the thing. People are like, people are like, I don't know, this week, not going to go into it, but they're fucking saying, like, oh, well, they're all funded by Peter Thiel money. If Peter Thiel is listening, I will absolutely do that. Sell us the sell us. You give me fucking ten million dollars, PD. I will fucking we will do one more year of this show every day. Say that student loan debt is the responsibility of who you know whatever. Yeah. We'll say fuck student loan debt forgiveness, fuck health care, whatever dumb psycho bullshit you want us to say. Done. Ten million. It's got to be a fat check. Tell him, yeah, ten ten million minimum for me. You probably want ten. Easy. Ten million also. Adam will uh we'll do it for thirty grand. Yeah, Adam's doing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Adam just wants another bar mitzvah, frankly. <laughs> you throw Adam a bar mitzvah you throw with Adam all the fixes. Bar mitzvah, yeah. You get him you get him fucking you get him a clown, you get him a DJ playing yep. fucking ignition remix. Yeah. You know, yep. he's yep. good. He's good he's set. He's good on that, but we will take that. How dare you fund Red Scare before you fund this show? Is he funding those dumb fucking I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't I, I frankly I don't even really know who Peter Thiel is. Well the thing is any fucking gay loser loves that show and that's who Peter Thiel is. Yeah. He's a fucking weird self hating gay guy, so mm-hmm. of course he likes that show. And if he wants to pay us to not say these things. We won't say him. We'll say he's cool and he gets pussy. Yeah, I'll say and whatever. And then you know whatever but Peter Thiel, we'll put you back in the closet. <laughs> We'll fucking stuff I'll your ass back in there. Yeah. That I saw you getting pussy in a completely organic way. Right. I won't even bring it up. We'll let enough time pass where people won't remember this. Yeah. I'll call you the master p- of pussy getting. Yeah. We'll be I'll like, say I fucked a girl who fucked you, and she said your dick was awesome, and yeah. you made her fucking splooge over and over again, and that you're really not gay and not evil. Yeah. I'll say all that stuff. I literally would do any anything. Yeah. Anything. And what have, I would do to have an escape from this that guarantees that me and the people I care about are taken care of. And you can bet on that. At my bookie.ag. My bookie. dot ag. Use promo code Cometown or Use promo code Teal. Teal. <laughs> yeah. Use promo code Cometown. You get some nice, a nice little offer. Yeah. There is some good shit to bet on. I'm not gonna lie. The NBA fi- betting on basketball is fun. Yeah. Um, football's still far away. Baseball regular season. I mean. You do got to be a little bit of a degenerate to be betting on regular season baseball. <laughs> but, hey, I'm sure some of you just, your wives just left. You yeah. need something to keep the pain away. Yeah, you can just go race rats somewhere. Too. Yeah. Listen, Formula One, everyone's getting into that shit because that Netflix show. You can bet on that. Bet on whatever the fuck. Bet on whether Lewis Hamilton is getting pussy tonight or not. Mm-hmm. He's a cute kid, that Lou, Lou Hamilton. Um, What else? So, anyway... MyBookie.ag. Uh, fucking bet on it. Fucking spend all your money. Guaranteed. You will win. <laughs> guaranteed. That's the fucking MyBookie. Yeah, guaranteed. guaranteed to win. You will win if you bet. And if you don't win, that's your fault. You did something wrong. But it does have the guarantee. And you get a nice little amount of fucking. They match something. They give you a little bonus. Look. Go. Fucking bet there. Mm hmm. Don't be a fucking dumb asshole and fucking bet, you know, what are you going to bet with a fucking bookie and get your legs broken by some fucking marinara stained wop fingers? No. Mm -hmm. Go to mybookie.ag. Mybookie.ag. There's some cool guys over there. Okay, I think we did the read. What do you think Adam is doing? I have no idea. but What could he possibly be doing for this long? This is absurd. It's crazy. Mm Mm-hmm. And he could be like, hey, I'll call you in 40. Like, that's the other thing. We're going to take a break. We're not going to do three in a row. We're going to take a break, probably get a little lunch. Well, even though my guts are pretty fucked up. Yeah, I kind of just want a coffee and we'll roll into I'm, number four. I'm good with that, bro. Maybe so, I'll get some toast. It's a beautiful day. I don't know if we can, we did the allergy corner yet. Are we talking Let's about Let's talk it? about it. Did you take any allergy medicine? Because when you walked in here today, no, I didn't. your eyes were leaking. Now that I'm back and inside the air conditioner, it's a little bit better. You do look better. But when you fucking came here, mm-hmm. when you, you texted the thread, you're like, is anybody else allergies bad? I thought you were being dramatic. And then you came in here, eyes looking pinker than fucking fresh pussy, mm-hmm. nose drooling like Adam's asshole when it smells a big dick. Yeah. But now, you look better. It is good. My allergies always come across with cough. I was I was a big coughing kid, um, and then I started taking Claritin, I believe, and that fu- or Zyrtec. Zyrtec cleared that shit right up. But I used to pretend I had like a chronic condition trying to get out of school because my allergies were so bad. 
mm-hmm. and it worked honestly. They really, took me you got sp- out of school for allergies? Well, I was coughing like crazy, and then they took me to a bunch of specialists, and they're like, "Yeah, I think your son is a fucking con artist." <laughs> It was kind of sick, actually. That's awesome. I got out of, like, How two months work? of school. I've never had a, I've never had a, a like, a guy did the allergy test. Yeah, I took a big-ass allergy test. I really wasn't allergic to shit, uh-huh. except, like, you know, regular seasonal allergies. But I had a we- I had weak-ass little bitch-ass lungs growing up. I had asthma, and then I had, they were very affected by, um, they were very affected by allergies to the point where I was honestly nonstop coughing, unless I took Zyrtec or Claritin or whatever. Mm-hmm. But before they knew that, dude, I was I was doing it up trying to get out of school. Yeah, I was like, I'm sick. And and you know school- anyone that called in a bomb threat ever? I always thought that was awesome. No, to be that bold, I never did. Yeah. I knew a kid who pulled the fire alarm. That was also awesome. That was sick. He got literally expelled. <laughs> those guys, those guys, they they end up in like bad kid Valhalla. Hundred yeah. percent, dude. The kids, that, the kids at like second grade, that like the teachers like sit down in your seat and they're like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> <laughs> You're like, damn, dude. Like them. Yeah, I'm somebody's like, getting beat at your house. Right. I'm sure. like over here just putting glue on the yeah, desk. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Ooh, I'm breaking the rules. Putting a drawing a smiley face yeah, on right. the desk. Yeah. Yeah, writing in the book. Yeah, yeah, right, writing, drawing a little dick in the book. Uh, yeah, right, exactly. But, like, if anyone saw me, I'd be like, oh, I didn't yeah. mean it. it was oh, who's just b- pointing at the retarded kid? <laughs> <laughs> he did it. <laughs> he drew it. Yeah, 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 right. No, but, yeah, the fuck you to the teacher kid. Just fucking blasting that and then leaving the school. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking walking Kicking his desk over. <laughs> yeah. A, a fucking nine-year-old oh, that's yeah. just, like... <laughs> Goes to McDonald's by himself, <laughs> just like gives the principal the finger and just fucking yeah has a fucking full not even a happy meal gets himself a McChicken fucking heroes dude awesome yeah and all those guys they I mean they go to jail they jail get, quickly yeah, fucking, yeah. In, he, within years of that <laughs> yeah. very rarely do they make I mean, it no. out yeah but they're, they're also like getting pussy like eleven yeah right they're also just like drinking. getting getting pussy to completion and having like a son. <laughs> 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 just nutty. Having like a 19 year old girl the first, he's 11. Yeah, the first time they ever come is just into a pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't yeah, even yeah, know yeah, what yeah. it is yet. <laughs> Damn, dude. Those really those guys were heroes. Mm-hmm. Uh, they let the one kid. I was in the fucking little. I was in the little smart class. Like, they would just pick five five people that weren't retarded. Yeah. Um, and put them in the. Actually, we were actually next to special ed. It was, you know, you know, the fucking little fucking whatever it was called gate. Mm-hmm. Um, and but one kid was so bad that they took him out of regular and just like let him play Oregon Trail. Yeah. In our little where we had we had the one we literally had three computers in my fucking broke ass school. Uh-huh. Shout out to John Rura Elementary School. Damn, I think I broke that com- chair. Good. What kind of computers were they? They were fuck it. They were the ones with like the little green shit. Yeah. But do like, you remember the, what they were? Were they Apple twos? No, but I remember that the printer literally had that, like... The, eh, eh, no, every printer had that. No, the little fucking... The dot, the p- circles. On the sides. Yeah, every printer had that. Really? The yeah. I don't remember. They all, had, they all spooled that way. Um, but anyway, they let this fucking kid just play... Or- in the one new computer, he got to just play Oregon Trail if he didn't say a curse word or try or hit a teacher. <laughs> and yes. I was like, what the fuck? I remember, being, I remember being in third grade and being like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> this cocksucker just... Doesn't throw a chair and he gets to play video games all the time. Was that they that? weren't quite that old? They were probably a generation after that. No, oh, okay. This is probably ninety five. You know, ninety six. I'm mm-hmm. seven. Wait, so like that maybe? Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Actually, really close to that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and the one we were allowed to play on was just text based games. There was no like. Yeah. There was like you know there was no. Fucking like little, Austin, little bison you could shoot. Austin used to have. Uh, oh, you know what I did too? I sent. I don't know if I'll get a response, but uh, you know, because the show is ending at the end of the year, mm-hmm. I sent an email to the office of like cura- curatorial services or whatever at the American History Museum, seeing if we could donate the soundboard and the recording equipment. <laughs> That would be fucking awesome. That would be amazing. <laughs> if they could have, like, you know, the two 2020s podcasting. <laughs> it's like the soundboard from Cumtown, which is next to Archie Bunker's chair. That would be amazing, dude. That picture they took of us outside of Funny Mob yeah, years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
cum town. That it sounds be. bad. Well, it was. It was. It was. We didn't even read the email. Yeah. It went right <laughs> to the trash. It went right into the garbage. <laughs> the soundboard is in the garbage. Of course we're not accepting it. Yeah. <laughs> But so you just said that someone is going to offer to pay you for fifty thousand dollars for it. I hope so. Then Peter Thiel can fucking buy it. PD, you know, off- straight good guy. <laughs> now I tell you, when I was a little kid, mm-hmm. I would go to the American History Museum. You ever have you ever been there? Yeah. Did you go there before two thousand seven? Yes. It used to be awesome. Mm-hmm. That was like the best museum in the country. And then yeah. they closed it for a long time to renovate it. And they like took more. They just took shit out of it. Mm, that like, sucks. They renovated and didn't add anything. They used to have like an information age exhibit that was like awesome. They had like fucking like you know like old like tube fucking That's computers yeah, and shit yeah, yeah. like a whole wall. I'm always fascinated by those gigantic computers that yeah. have like less power than like a fucking Tamagotchi. Yeah, that they were like going to space with. Yeah, <laughs> it's like insane. Well, that's because like the, the what the technology was is like uh like the the you know like on a, a processor you have all these like little like the electron gates that function as like transistors basically. That's what like on off one zero mm. you know bits are. But it used to be like a fucking actual like tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So something that was like this big that's pretty sick. is now like microscopic. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's why that was like. So it went from my dick to your dick. Uh. In in if you're looking back at history, yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. If we're talking about like, no, no, we're going. Yeah, but we're looking. It at starts. Hi- no, we're looking at <laughs> no, history. No, it starts. With my dick. We're in the retro- early computers. We're looking in retrospect. The current computers. The early your dick. in a sense that we're looking back in history. So we're yes. We're yeah. no, we're looking at it for starting at history and going to today. Uh-huh. Historically, they started at my dick, uh-huh. big tubes, and now they're at your dick, little microchips. Um. And you said yes earlier, no, and you can't take it back. No, <laughs> yeah. no, I don't think you're understanding. <laughs> you if yes. we're saying if we're saying it's it's like that, then hey, which it is, no, and we are saying that because it is like the that. Mine is sort of it's more powerful. It is powerful, but it's so tiny. It's it's funded by dark money. <laughs> That's everything you're saying is it's true. Mostly used by the government <laughs> to, and it's so big that it, it it's is not it, big. That That's it this is the first penetrated time. everybody's life. No, and it's every not aspect big. of society. <laughs> no, so you can't. Go anywhere without being people inundated. are scared of it. People, of course, they're scared of it because it's, right cause it's you're goddamn right. It's too small because it's penetrated every aspect. <laughs> but of it. You can barely you can, feel you it. You wake up in the morning and my it is dick is like, in your face. It is kind of like the internet and computers because it has penetrated life, but you don't really feel it. Yeah, because it's so it's kind of just out ethereal. Yeah, cause whereas like so I said, my dick is a big tube. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> you just gotta play the hits to get back to the basics. <laughs> right here. Oh fuck, damn, dude, my ass is on fire, but I am hungry. Mm. The fat man's dilemma: eat more and continue to shit painfully. That's the move. Or don't eat anything. Maybe get a kombucha. Maybe get a fucking water. Flush my stomach out. Mm. I'm pretty sure I have hemorrhoids. I've never really... I just... My asshole hurts. And that must be what that is. Mm -hmm. Because I was straining for hours last night. Yeah. Off that. And for everyone that wants to know what I ate to make me shit like this, part one is coming out Sunday. Yeah. This is kind of like Memento. It is like Memento. We're going to start podcasting like Memento. In fact, it's a lot like Memento because Nick wrote, I am not gay on his arm. Don't uh, suck that guy's dick no matter how much he says he's your boyfriend. I would love to get all those tattoos. <laughs> Just get a bunch of memento tattoos. You do not have a boyfriend. Don't suck Maurice's dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice. <laughs> It's just a, like a Hispanic janitor. <laughs> yeah. Maurice is a great name. Who just who figured out your disability and tricks you one out of every three times in the Joe Pantoliano dick. just fucking that guy in that movie. <laughs> You're my fucking boyfriend. <laughs> We're gay. You're the bottom. How many times do I have to tell you this? Look, look at this Polaroid of you sucking my dick. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, is that a gun to my head? He's like, no. Come on. He's like, don't, don't suck the Joe, pa- Joey Pantoliano's cock, no, no matter how convincing he is. Mm-hmm. Uh, minute, how long of Adam needing five minutes? This is this, as is honestly, it's truly hilarious. We're about to do the second read now in a second. Read. <laughs> He's like, I need five minutes. Mm-hmm. Whatever, man. Well, it's honestly nice because it does feel like five minutes. That's true. It's on, this thing breezes by when Adam's not here. <laughs> 
and he needs a break. He needs to prepare. He's in he's he's in his office furiously writing b- bits. <laughs> for that the would podcast. be hey, that would be great. <laughs> he comes out. He's like, I got it. My dick is like tubes <laughs> from the. I don't know. The idea just came to me. I don't, he's got the your, living room bug. <laughs> <laughs> and your dick is like computers, and it's an original Adam Friedland thought, TM. Oh, fuck. Maybe I'll have a bagel with just butter. That's cool. You know? I hope my eyesight goes back to normal soon. What's wrong with it, man? You still I get can't like, see? Yeah, up clo- I'll get like double vision. In it. Mm, interesting. Um, and I don't, and it, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I have to go back to the ophthalmologist at some point, but yeah. it'll just like fucking twitch all day How long, long do you have? Are you done on antibiotics? The antibiotics are done now, yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, so but they're still they 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 told me I have to go back or so I got a bunch of scar tissue they got to cut out. Damn, you're about to have fucking eyelid surgery. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Lewis told me he did that. He went to a plastic surgeon though. Really? Yeah. Why? What happened? He's got the, he's he just gets like horrific styes. And he really? Like, yeah, a bunch of like a bunch of. Ugh, yeah. Damn. He was like, yeah, I had to get, like, wipes because I got, like, shitty Puerto Rican shitty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Racist towards his own eyes. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, Ridge Wallet. Oh, com. our friends are back. Our homies over at Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet, named after um, the condoms that you use for her pleasure. Mm-hmm. Ridged. Ridged for her pleasure. If you ever want to drive a girl wild, put one of those titanium... Uh, wallets, inner pussy, mm-hmm. ridged for her pleasure. Mm-hmm. A great company started by a father and son. I mean, that's Americana, folks. You know, they started a small, they had a plan, they had an idea, and now they're millionaires together. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? <clears throat> I love my Ridge wallet. It's a great wallet. I uh, I rocked it for a while. Now I have uh, the case, the phone case one. I like the little bag. It's my little day bag. Whenever I'm on a little, you know, I'm the I'm the ten thousand step bastard. I'm trying to get back to fitness slowly by walking again, <laughs> and uh, you know, actually, you know what? I'm around the fifteen thousand step bastard. I'm not quite twenty because my fucking fat feet hurt, uh, and I soak those bitches sometimes. But I'm the fifteen thousand step bastard, and when I'm running around Queens doing errands, and every once in a while, I want to keep my keys somewhere. I want to fucking, you know, maybe I pop into a shop, I buy a little pre-cut pineapple as a little snack while I watch NBA playoff basketball. I have the Ridge backpack. They're not just wallets, folks. They got backpacks. They got little knives. Mm -hmm. What else they got? A whole fucking line of shit. Probably those hooks or those, like, carabiner shits. Fuck. <clears throat> yeah, Truly backpacks. Truly awesome place. I think I'm trying to remember if they have a promo code or not. It's either Comtown or Comtown 20. Let's take a look at the website. Let's fucking take a look. Um, uh, Ridgepussy.cunt. That's the, that's, the, that's the fucking secret line. If you go to Ridgepussy.cunt, you can buy pussy right off their website. Um, oh, and look, it's a Father's Day. No, it's Father's it's Day. It's Father's yeah, Day. They go hard on Father's Day. That's. I was wondering why they place their ads. I guess people buy these for their dads, which you should. Which you should. You know what? I might get one for my dad. Yeah, they got travel. They got key cases. Yeah. They got everyday carry. Get one for my dad so he can put his zero dollars in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His Panera. We could all do pa- that for our dads. <laughs> his Panera fucking loyalty card. <laughs> That's the one thing in there. <laughs> Oh, it looks like they have a uh, new red. <laughs> That's uh, cool for AIDS. Yeah, which I use. That was my one of my first. Uh, mm-hmm. One of my first cell phones was the Red Razor. The Motorola Red Razor. The, fucking awesome, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got the red one, or our original durable coating. Let's see, wow, it's ba- key cases. That's pretty cool. That's like a I little... do like that a lot. Actually, I might go key case. Yeah, I got too many fucking keys. Oh, you got your. You're on your janitor shit. Well, I think there's three keys to my apartment. I got my car keys. That's way too many. I have two facilities that I frequent that sure. require the gay sex auditorium. Yeah. 
the bathhouse and the gay sex auditorium. Yeah, you know my, you know about me and my facilities <laughs> that I keep. I like these Kiki. These are fucking you. I haven't seen these in yeah. a while. Everyday carry. That's <coughs> what that means guns. The problem, the problem with the with this is I have fat keys. I have that, you know, that New York. But I'm sure they work for those two folks. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they work for those. Um, that's really nice actually, because it feels like a knife, but it's just keys. Yeah, which is awesome. Um, and they got they got little fucking packs, dude. You want your fucking daily driver kit, and they got you can match your keys to your wallet like a cute little bitch. Mm-hmm. They got fucking pens now. Oh my god, you can write out all your fu- you can write out your fucking enemies list. Yeah, with the ridge fucking pen, and then you can fucking. I would love that. Although I'm I'm too old for an enemies list at this point. Richard Nixon had one. He's older than you. Yeah, fucking kill them, dude. That's true. That is true. I think I died young. <laughs> young and beautiful. It is funny that he just had like a whole life after being a disgraced president. <laughs> yeah. Like he was like, I saw like a picture of old ass Nixon hanging with like the Jets. Yeah. And they were all like, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Nick, honestly, I would love to hang out with a disgraced Richard Nixon. Well, he didn't, he, when did he die? Like 93? He was older than my dick, dude. He was old as shit. Nixon and death. I wonder when his wife died. You think he was getting pussy at like in like eighty nine when he was eighty nine? Nineteen ninety four is when he died. Wow. Yeah. That's fucking how old was he? I don't know. I remember him dying though. You do? A, yeah, when I was a kid, yeah. I don't remember Nixon at all, dude. Mm. As a fucking kid. Richard M. Nixon, thirty seventh president. Dies in eighty one. Okay. He looks fucking so old. Yeah, he's Joe Biden's age. <laughs> Joey B. Yeah. Okay, so he died in 94. When did his wife die? Nixon wife death. 93. Mm-hmm. So he had a year of getting pussy, probably. A year of getting pussy. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, dude. Viagra, had, had it come out in 94 or was that 96? Nah. Okay, let's that look was, that up. No, that was because Bob Dole was the guy. Remember? Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Viagra, I think you're right, 96. That'd be funny if that's a year you nail. 98. Ah, damn. damn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They patented in 96. It came out in 98. That's a, that's so he, so, okay, so maybe Nixon was, was just getting, maybe he was just getting his dick sucked, yeah. his limp old dick sucked. This is truly wild, whatever's going on that he's. Yeah, what is going on with him? Yeah. So maybe something bad happened. I don't know. And I'm not rooting for it. Yeah. But it's possible. I, I already have to piss again because I drank all that water. Well, good. You can go, man. Because <laughs> of my damn allergies. <laughs> can I? Do you mind? Yeah, I don't all give right. a fuck. Yeah, damn, I'm going to piss like <clears throat> So, okay, let's read about Pat Nixon here, folks. Um, honestly, not that big of a piece of ass, if I'm going to be honest with you. In fact, <clears throat> look, Jackie Onassis, people talk about her as being really hot. I, th- I always felt her eyes, there was something weird about her eyes. But let me, you know what, let me look at Pat Nixon young, because I'm seeing her at 80. That's not, that's not when the pussy's ripe. Obviously, we all know that. The pussy is overripe at that point. I'm going to be honest, Pat Nixon could honestly, could never get it. Her face is too fucked up. She's got a long jaw, just a a sharp, sharp nose, sharp chin. I don't really like, I'm not a chin guy when it comes to getting pussy. I don't want that shit jutting out. I mean, I suppose it's a case by case basis. Yeah, dude. Even even when they're really young, Nixon looks hot. This bitch is looking. I mean, not hot, but it looks good. She's looking fucked up, honestly. She looks like the mask. And their baby looks fat as fuck, honestly, which is cute. I like a fat baby. Okay, so yeah, the younger pictures of her look even. Oh, the profile's horrendous. This bitch is looking like fucking the like the moon. She looks like Jay Leno. She looks like the bananas in pajamas. <laughs> okay, so she's out. <clears throat> Let's see what Lady Bird Johnson looked like when she was young. Was she was she fuckable? Cause you know, you know what's his face, um, Lyndon. You know Lyndon was slinging cock, and he had a big ass dick. Oof. Lady Bird kind of looks. She honestly looks a little like Lyndon. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> These bitches were trash. Now I see why everybody did want to fuck Jackie O. Because it's kind of like the... <clears throat> it's kind of like, you know... Um, it was just like an era shift. She brought us into slightly fuckable... 
it's like you know how you watch you watch um uh video, footage from the NBA in the 80s and it's like no one is that good in today's in the modern era so Lady Bird was a fucking dog. I'm going through uh, president, first ladies and seeing first who was fuckable. Wives. Apparently, uh, Louis C.K. and what's his name? Shane Gillis just did this with the presidents. Oh, really? They went through and they said what they could remember. I don't know. Shane told me that. Shane told me that they did that on a six-hour podcast. Damn. I said, can you imagine the kind of psycho that would listen to a six-hour Shane Gillis, Louis C.K. podcast? <laughs> To be, is too long. I mean, but that's got to be that's got to be the of all the types of podcast listeners, the guy that's going to sit down and strap in for six hours of president history. Yeah, with with Louis C.K. and Shane Gillis. Oh, that's a strange guy. Yeah, but you know what? They, if you stretch it out over a while, doesn't sound so bad. Um, twenty minutes here, twenty minutes there. Yeah. Anyway, that's not what I'm doing. I'm going through who's fuck, which first ladies are fuckable. Um. Who was that? Who 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 did? Uh, okay, we already covered Jackie. Uh, Reagan's wife obviously was superhead. Jimmy Carter. Let's look at Jimmy Carter's bitch. Georgia Carter. <laughs> Jimena Carter. Yeah. <clears throat> Lashonda Carter. Rosalind. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just has a big fat black lady. Yeah. Uh, yeah J- J- Rosalind was all right. She was all right, better than the other two bitches. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, you know what I never understood well, is like I don't know. that whole like Kennedy Camelot thing is like both yeah. Kennedy and Jackie Onassis are ugly people. Yeah, they, but that's what I'm saying. Compared to these bitches, she was hot. I will say, uh, I, ex- like her immediate you know, predecessors. Well, she could kind of get, it, even though there was something off about her eyes. Yeah, I mean, both uh, Kennedy had fucked up eyes. He yeah. was like walleye, dude. He had one eye all bugged out and went all the other place. Didn't he get his ass... Did, did that happen from being at war or whatever? His, he had back pain from war. Gotcha. So, like, in private, he was always like, Oh, yeah, I gotta sit down on oh, the, uh, the I couch. Can't, you gotta get on top. Uh, my <laughs> ass feels like it was blown out. <laughs> no, I can't fuck you from the back. I you gotta are, suck my cock. I are uh, ick bin ein er, uh, penis. I do love the the whole suck bin ein <laughs> suck bin ein penis. <laughs> suck bin ein penis. Suck bin ein penis. <laughs> the German people are like, what the fuck? And he's like, who gave me this copy? <laughs> why did why is this? This is not German. <laughs> suck bin ein penis. <laughs> <coughs> Suck bin ein penis. <laughs> I don't know why that. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, you know, this is giving me strong uh, dick must bust vibes. Dick must bust. I don't know even what that. Just walking around Montreal. Dick must bust. Dick must bust. Oh, I think that was Nixon. It was Nixon, but I forget. It was like we were looking at like Nixon campaign shit while walking around Montreal. Interesting. We came up with dick must bust. Dick must motherfucking bust. I swear to God, if at this point he tries to sit down and get on, that my, would be funny. If he if he does though, Adam. Everything okay? Adam? It's going to be some bullshit. He's going to be a phone call about like the exterminator not coming tomorrow. He's going <laughs> to treat it like... No, it's, he was supposed to come tomorrow. Something must have... I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. It is funny to be in Adam's apartment. Mm. He's in He's in here. No, he's not. Oh, he left? He left, yeah. I thought he was in the back... I thought no. he was in the bedroom taking a phone call. I mean, I just walked by there. He's not in there. Is the door open? It looks closed. Is it closed? It's closed. He's in there. Uh, I think it's cracked open. When I walk by to piss, I think. I mean, Interesting. I don't know. Well, you know. I don't really know. Who cares? Tate's cookies. Is there anything in there? Uh, no, but I'm thinking. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I can't yet. I know. I'm sorry. My ass is fucked. This. Can you ask? Can, what kind An of unopened door? I, I thought it was open. I know, but like, can, what kind of world do you live in where this is this is possible? He opened the Tate's, but not the Doritos? That you can have this much beef jerky sitting out. Well, you know what it is. This is he's he came back early from his long weekend to do the podcast. Oh, is it some road snacks? I think it's road snacks, but I also think it's just no no girlfriend snacks. Just a boys' night. He comes in, watches basketball, but he doesn't even crack the Doritos. Mm. You know what really hurts? The whole reason I got that Papa John's pizza is because what I really wanted was a little Cool Ranch Dorito. Mm-hmm. Could not not my grocery store, not at my bodega. 
Not at the other bodega. Oh, you went to three places. I went to three places for Cool Ranch Doritos. <laughs> it's all within one block, you know. <laughs> grocery store around the bodega, across from the bodega. <laughs> you're, you're, like you're picking something up for your pregnant wife. <laughs> <laughs> Did I also have just you? Did I also have breakfast cereal in my backpack? Yes, <laughs> that I bought from the grocery store. Look, I had. A, I was told you I had a depressive episode. <laughs> I needed to fucking you know. I needed to feel good. Uh, I love that. <laughs> and couldn't find them anywhere. What do we see here? Completely unopened, large Doritos bag. <laughs> I mean, it's like Adam's mocking me by not even cracking them open. Mm. This beef jerky is pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's real uh, dressed down. It's just pepper. Is it chewy? It's good. Try you it. get a piece. <clears throat> it's kind of shit. You can always... Any, every, 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 all over the country, there's a guy that has a local business making his own beef jerky and taking it to the gas stations in it's the area. true. This is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good consistency. Yeah. I'd like it... <clears throat> Just a little chewier. <coughs> Fuck. Closing up. That pepper. Yeah. Pepper got me. I'll clean you out, man. You got a lot of pollen out of your fucking head. <laughs> yeah. That is good jerky. That's <clears throat> Old Trapper. Yeah. Peppered beef jerky since 1969. Naturally smoked. Yeah. Old Trapper Smoked Products, Inc., Forest Grove, Oregon. Wow. From Oregon. Very nice. Well, I guess that's where he was in. This must be a, a small local company that's owned by a Chinese. Company. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Distributed by Lucky Xinhua. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, we're really fucked. If we go to war with China, will we have any products? Nah, dude. We're f- so fucked. Nothing. It's like a handful of shit from the other Asian countries. This country, country is going down. <laughs> Like I'm sure everyone felt has felt that way in different parts of history, but yeah, we just no leadership. Fucking a school shooting every fucking day. Everyone's every, no one can get fucking the go economy. To the, doctor. the economy is about to just fucking completely. It's gonna blow. crater, and everyone knows. Yeah, literally everyone knows that we're facing like a once in a lifetime horrific catastrophic economic event. It's gonna be yeah. like you know, it's gonna be the Great Depression. Oh. It'll be that bad. People won't be able to afford food. There's probably going to... I said it before. There's probably going to be like a big energy crisis this summer. Fucking weeks without power. You know? That's going to cause... That's going to cause like riots and shit. We're probably, what, a month away from that. And when it doesn't happen, it's because they knew I was on to it. Yeah. And like, we got to change the plan up. <laughs> the genius is logged on. Oh, yeah. The speculator genius is logged on. <laughs> yeah. and he's on to our plans. <laughs> He's going to short the power grid or yeah, something. Yeah, that's what happened. You know, probably don't know this, but I was queuing on. Mm. You know? You're JFK Jr. Yeah, and if you look, lined up all the queue drops, they end abruptly right when my girlfriend cheated on me and left it. <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people is, don't know that, yeah. That is, in fact, the truth. Yeah. That's what happened is I was humiliated and I was like, I couldn't do my art anymore. Yeah. I was like, fuck it, I'll just send all these people into the Capitol. Smart move. Yeah. <laughs> and if you see, there's a guy in the vents in a Guy Fox mask. Yeah. That was Nick. Yeah. Overseeing it all. Yeah. <clears throat> what are we Dude, at here minute-wise? 57. Oh, beautiful. I know. <laughs> I love it. Adam, really, it's, I mean, I wonder what's going on. I'm telling you, I know him. It's going to be bullshit. Probably. It's going to be... It's at least something that could have waited one hour. Yeah. Interesting. Well, let's begin a nice, long, three-minute wind-down, folks. Yeah. The Cat in the Hat live-action movie. <laughs> Never saw it. It's gross. Did you see it? No, I didn't. I remember, I remember, like, you know, like every child, I love Dr. Seuss, and then every live-action attempt they had... It, like, the Grinch was good. I didn't see the Grinch. Grinch is good. But I'm like, what the fuck is it? Because it Jim Carrey's a cartoon... Mike Myers is not cartoonish. He's his own thing. Yeah. It was weird. Like, he wasn't the Cat in the Hat. Mm-hmm. I believe Rosie O'Donnell did a Cat in the Hat Broadway th- thing. Mm-hmm. I remember because, as you know, as a child, that was a big Rosie O'Donnell thing. Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you said all that shit about team sports earlier, and I'm like, fuck, I, be, I wish there was an option for that. It doesn't really exist as an adult. 
It's tough. I mean, you can play like rec league shit. Yeah, but a lot of I feel like a lot of those people are. You know, you pick your own team. Yeah. Yeah, I know, man. I just feel like, uh, like what I'm saying is, I want to go this summer. I'm gonna go work out with my brother. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna find a gym and just shoot basketballs.